many of them. There's three cars, one. Now they formed the line. They actually did form the line. And why is that car, the van is open at the back? There's people there. I, I think they're switching workers or something like that. I don't think so. I look this. And look at them. Clean. These two, they have been there for so long. Oh wow. What are you doing? There's some. Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Poncho, back at you again with another video. Now, I don't know how much you guys know about police raids, but let me tell you if you don't know, they literally come when the person is least expecting it. So this could literally mean at 3 o'clock in the morning, when everybody in the house is sleeping and the whole street is sleeping, the police turn up at your door and the whole street has been woken up by police screaming, bashing your door down, and sometimes even firing weapons. Now, this next story we're about to get into happened earlier on this morning in Greenwich, and people were that panicked by the raid that they thought some kind of explosions and bombs were going off. So it's being reported that at around 3am this morning, officers arrested three men and a 14 year old boy following a series of raids across Greenwich, targeting those to be in possession of firearms, drugs and associated with serious crime. The arrests are the accumulation of a long running proactive investigation launched following the attempted murder of a 33 year old man on Sunday the 29th of December 2019 in Throly Close SE2 and reports of violent offending including firearms offences in the local area over the last six months. Officers from Greenwich within South East Command executed six warrants at a traveller site in Abbeywood SE2 and a further two addresses in Comewell Crescent SE2 and West Parkside SE10. Officers from the Specialist Firearms Command and Territorial Support Group TSG assisted with the specialist method of entry equipment and skills. Four males were arrested on suspicion of attempted murder, that being a 56-year-old man, a 22-year-old man, another 22-year-old old man and a 14 year old boy and searches of the properties remain ongoing as of today. Detective Superintendent Annie Furphy from Greenwich would then go on to say this. We've executed several search warrants across Greenwich, at a site in Abbeywood and at addresses in SE2 and SE10. These warrants were part of a long term proactive operation targeting firearms, drugs and those involved in serious crime. So far we've arrested four people for attempted murder. This activity today involved local BCU officers, but officers from specialist commands who've used their skills and expertise in effecting entries for us um, across all the different sites. But today's activities demonstrates the Met's ongoing commitment to targeting violent crime. It's been reported that no one was injured during the operation and the police added that no shots were fired. Now, it's pretty crazy to think that the police would go on to say that no shots were fired at all when literally so much of the footage that's been circulating has come out clearly showing some kind of shots being fired. Now, whether it's some kind of smoke grenade or tear gas or rubber bullets or even real bullets, we can't confirm at this current time, but the fact that the police saying that nothing happened at all just shows the suppression of what goes on in the streets of the UK. I hear a lot of the time about crimes that don't really get reported or that get downplayed in the news because of the suppression from the police. I mean, take a look at the story I recently covered regarding the 5G towers. People were literally reporting all over the UK that these towers were getting set on fire, but only two incidents, even till today, were getting reported in the news, and I do believe that further towers have been set on fire. Now, as it stands right now, there's not that much information surrounding this whole situation, but I'm pretty sure we'll get more of an insight as more information starts to come out. So if 
there is any further updates, as always, I'll let you guys know. But let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below. Give the video a little like. And if you want the latest drill, street, and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your boy 8 Pancho, and I'm